Hey guys, Achi Luxury, Achi Luxury channel. And today I want to show you one of the, uh, this is my Christmas gift to myself. It's a Ryobi two stroke, two stroke chainsaw. It's a chainsaw. It's a 42cc, 16 inch chainsaw. And uh, I've got this baby here. I got this baby on the table. Um, and I'm going to show you today how to start a chainsaw and how to use one. Um, so we're going to get this baby going. I'm just doing a bit of pre prepping yesterday. I tested it out for the first time. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use a chainsaw. We're going to have a look at how to start a chainsaw and how to use one. And we'll look at some of the safety gear to use as well. And uh, I'll just show you. my. Uh, i got a bit of a family of... Uh, Ryobi's. This here is uh, my Ryobi Weed Whacker. This is my Ryobi Weed Whacker. I'm going to show you how to start that bastard. How to start that bastard after it's been dormant for six, six to twelve months. So let's just have a sticky beak at some of the uh, the weed, the chainsaw, the effects of this chainsaw. So I was using it yesterday. And uh, have a look here. This is uh, this is what I've managed to do here. Look at this here. This is uh, in my uh, front garden here. I've been. I had to get rid of a tree. This is what happened. I had to get rid of a tree, and uh, it's really pesky. This tree here is a real bastard. It's kind of a weed type tree, and uh, it always drops foliage everywhere. And uh, the neighbors a bit shitted off with the tree. I'm shitted off with the tree. It's uh, when you drive in and it's raining and you, you, you try and put the car in the garage, you get yourself soaked. It's just a real pisser. So just take a look. That chainsaw there was able to uh, cut this bastard down. And uh, <laughs> I've just been doing a bit of cleaning up around the yard here. Have a sticky beak here. Uh, that's some of the yeah just cleaning up a bit with the the chainsaw so you've got to um they're a bit of a look you can have a lot of nasty accidents with chainsaws let me tell you that it's a very dangerous type of uh instrument here we go look at the logs there that's some of the logs that i was cutting out today very hefty bastards really chunky big big logs there so uh, i got a whole lot of branches in that to clean up I'll be using the chainsaw to trim this up a bit and uh, get rid of some of the mess here. But uh, you can see this is uh, this is some of the the things that you can use a chainsaw with <coughs> a chainsaw. And uh, I've been I've been also been doing a bit of tree lopping in the backyard here. I've had a few um, you know I've got some real trees. They just grow. They get get out of hand and they just grow very aggressively. So. Uh, the chainsaw's made easy work of this. I'll just show you. This is uh, here. Look at the logs here. These are some of the things I've been cutting in the backyard here. That's um, some of the trees. Just chop them, cut them out there with the chainsaw. And uh, here's some of the, uh, the trees at the front here. So you can see I'm just dealing with a bit of a... Uh, some nasty growth you can see I'm dealing with some really nasty growth and uh, the Ryobi chainsaw been using the chainsaw now the chainsaw itself there you've got to be careful you've got two components you've got uh, two-stroke fuel which is uh, unleaded petrol with some special oil in it and uh, you've also got bore oil now I've run out of the bore oil and uh, I'm going to I'm going to have to go back down to the Bunnings and and get some some more of that. So uh, yeah, that's the Ryobi chainsaw. So I'll be making a special video on uh, my Ryobi chainsaw. So guys, tell me tell me what you think. Comments below. I might even start my own tree lopping business. Archie looking for ways to survive in 2018.